Show! Alpha Stacks fam, my name is Shlomi Kleinman, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what you should eat in order to help you burn fat and build muscle. Alright, so first thing comes to first, I'm going to give you the real facts that are backed up by science, and I'm going to tell you why what I'm about to tell you works. So the answer is protein. That's right. Eating a diet high in protein can significantly help you burn fat and build muscle. And here's why. Number one, protein is the hardest macronutrient to turn into body fat. So for those of you that don't know, macronutrients are the three types of calories, and they are fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Out of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, protein is the hardest type of macronutrient for the body to turn into body fat. Because when you have an excess amount of fats or carbohydrates, the body tends to turn those into body fat. But when you have an excess amount of protein, the body just excretes it out through urine. Reason number two, protein is phenomenal because it is the main muscle building macronutrient. This is because whenever you exercise, you make micro tears in your muscle. The way your body builds muscle is it sends amino acids or certain structures in your body that come from digested protein into your muscles to build those micro tears that you just made in the gym even bigger and stronger than they were before you worked out. Reason number three that protein is phenomenal for helping you lose fat is because it takes the most amount of calories out of all the macronutrients from protein just for the simple digestion alone. And a bonus reason, protein is phenomenal for helping you out with so much else. Protein performs countless functions in your body and that's why having a diet high in protein or higher in protein than what you normally have can be so beneficial. Plus, out of all the calories from um, the macronutrients that you have or that you may have in your day-to-day -day life, protein can be one of the most filling type of calories that you have. Think about it. When you have a chicken breast versus a piece of cake or cookie, what's more filling? Usually the chicken breast. So for those of you watching, got this far in the video, congratulations. So it is absolutely super, super important that you love what you eat because if you don't love what you eat, you're not gonna be sticking to it for the next 10, 20 years. Of course, you can push through a diet that you hate for the next five, six months, but for 20 years, you're not gonna be eating foods that you hate. Now that you learned about all the benefits and wonders that protein can do for the body, here are some foods that taste absolutely phenomenal that just happen to be high in protein. So first off, we got Greek yogurt. It can taste phenomenal. Get it either flavored or plain. Add some protein powder in it to add even more protein and add some flavor in it. You can also add cereal into the Greek yogurt. Number two, you can use, that's right, protein powder, something that's super versatile. You can use it to make milkshakes. You can use it to, if it's, let's say, chocolate protein powder, you can use it to make chocolate milk. You can use it to make syrup to pour over nuts or fruits or whatever you like. Number three, meats, fish, and eggs. These are foods that most of us already all like and they're already super high in protein. And number four and five, Nuts and oatmeal, especially when prepared in the right way, can taste absolutely phenomenal. These foods right here are not all the foods that taste really good that are high in protein. They're just some of the foods. And the benefits that I listed here of protein are not all the benefits of protein, just some of the benefits of protein. These are just things to help you start off to hopefully help you become that person that you always wanted it to be. So with that, I hope everybody has a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Peace out.